Here amongst all this sweet woodruff is the larva of D. elpinor, or the large elephant hawk moth. These UK natives are some of the most colorful and beloved moths to raise as the adults come in shades of pinks, yellows, and greens. Here you see the green larval version. This caterpillar can be either green or brown in its final instar before pupating. With its large eye spots and inflated head, it attempts to look like a snake to ward off predators. Here is the brown version, and while looking very different, the eye spots remain along with some deep, rich golds, and of course, these larvae have a horn at the tail end. Remarkably, it is white. They are a good-sized caterpillar, about as thick and as long as a finger, or at least one of mine. They are easy to handle and an easy species to breed as they don't mind some overcrowding and humidity. They take about a month's time to go from egg to adult caterpillar, at which point they will weave a loose cocoon among plants in order to pupate. This is where they are living now, so they can eat as they please and weave their cocoons among the plants when they are ready. There is one cocoon in here now, although it is quite hard to see among the leaves. If you look closely, you can see some very fine threads of silk. It will take the caterpillar a few days to become a pupa and harden, at which point I will remove them and keep them on moss until they emerge so I can keep an eye on them and make sure there is no mold growth. So here are the final pupae. We should have some gorgeous moths soon, so stay tuned.